Number 33, Terrell Ware, and number 37, Joey Smith. And it will be Smith who will drop back as the return man. That is now final in the Hall of Fame, both Clemson 30 and Illinois nothing, as we are ready now in Tempe, Arizona, with the 20th Sunkiss Fiesta Bowl. And Smith takes to the yard deep. The 15 cuts back at the 20, has an opening out to the 30 yard line. Louisville's offense. The quarterback is Browning next. Bynum and Dawkins, the running back. Tom Jones and McKay are the receivers. An offensive line of Jerry Kraft, Kevin Blumeyer, Jerry Fig, Scott McAllister, and Pete Burkey. And you expect for Louisville to come out throwing, and they do. Nagel has the time, and he is going to scramble, not known for his scrambling ability, and then he completes the pass to Ken McKay. George Thornton, Robert Stewart, Byron Holbrook, T. Webb, John Cullen, Derek Odom, and Antonio under the front seven. In the secondary, George Teague, Mark McMillan, Ephraim Thomas, and Stacey Harrison. And in addition, Alabama will have seven men in the secondary at times trying to cut off the passing attack of Louisville. A gain of 20 yards on the opening play. Play action fake again. And this time the pressure from the front three is too much. Yes, it is. And here is again to Dawkins. And Dawkins goes oh, to the 26 yard line. Probably he's just not really since he's been working on it the last five weeks. Play action. And it is tipped, intercepted. Alabama has the ball. Stacey Harrison with the interception. And the first turnover of the ball game. And Alabama comes out throwing. This is a surprise. And Hollingsworth is brought down by Flores. Kevin Turner is in. And Hollingsworth to throw again. Dumps this one off short to Turner. And Turner is out to the 30, maybe the 31 yard line. Hollingsworth is the quarterback. Chris Anderson and Kevin Turner, the starting running back. Russell Finkley and Buskey are the receivers. And off the line, Matt Hammond, William Barger, Robert Schultz, Trent Patterson, and Terrell Chapman. There's that offensive line. And the ball at the 32 yard line. Throw. Knocked away at the 45 yard line by Mark Sander. Now, this is the return man. Taken at the 29 yard line and dropped in his front. The painter? <laughs> Come on. It hurt. going to be tough. You. Oh, okay, listen to you. The quick pass right side is complete to Curtis Lipsy able to move the ball against Alabama. <laughs> and here's the pitch to Dawkins. And Dawkins is around the corner and he's going to the Dale Phillips is the referee. Play action fake. And a middle screen is set up to Ralph Dawkins. Dawkins to the 40, to the 45, to the 46 yard line. Number here they are with the hurry up. Second and 11 at the 46. And the pass is complete to Kim McKay, the tight end. Nagel rolling to his right. And it is incomplete. He wanted to just drop it over. The it's over 10 minutes to go in the first quarter. Swing right side is dropped by Curtis Lipsy. The Browning name is going to have this be effective. He's got to be quick with it. He's got to be ready to go. And he goes deep. And it is incomplete. Fred Jones, he laid it in there perfectly. <laughs> He's a good one, though. And Anderson just stepped away. And Loyola tries to down it, but it goes into the end zone, breaks the play. And here is Anderson. 
Expected to carry the load today at front seven for Louisville, Brian Hayes, Dan Gangler, Ted Washington, Mike Flory, Reggie Johnson, Mark Sander, Pat Fitzgerald. In the secondary, John Ganey, William Blackford, Ray Buchanan, and Ricky McFadden. Third down. And Allingsworth overthrows everybody. It'll be fourth down. Almost blocked. And Smith will let it go. It takes an Alabama row. But for the second time in the ball game, the Louisville defense has held the Crimson Tide. And the Cardinals have the ball first down at their own 27 yard line. Robin Nichols. AC in motion, that's Cummings, and they get to the right side. Ball carrier, it's, the line it's an official's mistake, not a team mistake. Play action. Juggle and then cut, and here goes Latrell Ware. 70 yards, touchdown Loyola. Charlie, we had talked about earlier how Alabama's going to have to get out of that zone defense. High snap, but it is brought down by the holder, Greg Brown, and it is good. And Louisville leads seven another. Take a look at the arm of Nagel as he's able to gun it right in there. Right in the middle of the seam, you see the dive. He doesn't have it man for man. Look, there's nobody over there, so he can bobble it. He's got plenty of time to get it. But when Ephraim Thomas misses the tackle, he is long gone. Touchdown, Cardinals. They're up seven nothing. We'll be back. Alabama with three deep. And taken at the five-yard line by Robert Jones. And Jones will be ridden down. At Alabama now trailing 7 0. And Chris Anderson gets the cut. Prove that that man can hit. So can his son. Second down. Here is Anderson on the counter. And he battles his way out to the 24-yard line, and the flag is down. No, oh, there's a fumble underneath. Now I'm sure he's very glad because he's one of the leaders for the Louisville Cardinal defense. Mel Mills caused the fumble. Come on, come on. And Nagel will try to capitalize immediately, and he goes to Curtis Lipsy. And Lipsy goes to the 18-yard line with the no huddle, forcing Alabama to stay in the defense or stay with the personnel that they have. And then he takes his time to make his call, and he gives to Lipsy, and he goes over the right side. Five and a half minutes to go, first quarter. Louisville leads 7-0, now trying to capitalize on the turnover. And the Alabama defense is there. Let's see the ball carrier. Wilkesmeyer will an attempt a 37-yard field goal. He was not supposed to kick field goals today. He's been bothered by a nerve injury in the groin area. And now we have contact. And that will give Louisville a first Dead down. Dead foul. Dead ball foul. Offside, defense, first down, up, and now it's cost him. Now Louisville's going to have another shot at a touchdown. First down at the 15-yard line. And a throwback pass to the quarterback, high, wobbly. He pulls it in. He had to wait on it too long. Second down and a couple, a gain of eight. And Nagel rolls to throw. Just he wants to set up a screen. He was giving a lot of ground. The screen was not there. We have clipping on the offense. 15 yard penalty. Second down. Boy, did he have an answer. He had a giant sized chip on his. In fact, it was a building, not a chip. <laughs> Dawkins inside the 10. Dawkins to the five yard line. Whew, those are Detmer like numbers. <laughs> Heisman like numbers. Dawkins for the corner, and he's got it. And it is blocked. And I believe, was it Holbrook? Holbrook has been the star, the goat, and the star again as Holbrook blocked the extra point attempt. 
coming up. If you can see the left of your screen, watch who's on top of number five. You'll see it right there going down. Anthony Cummings making a great block, enabling Dawkins to get into the end zone to put Louisville up by two touchdowns. First time Alabama's given up two in the first two. He has a record out. All right, here's the kick. And Robert Jones. Jones to 15, the 20. Across the 25 to the 27 yard line. And, and I can see Joe doing it. And you know that it happens just the way that Tom does. Only for it to throw. The pass is complete to Turner. High praise indeed. Second down. And on the draw, here's Turner. Turner to the 45. Whoa. Back pedal, 49 yard line of Loyal. The offensive guard for Alabama. Little play action fake passes complete left side to Martin Houston. But Alabama has been able to be successful in this drive in both areas. Little play action fake puts this one up for grabs. It's intercepted. Should not have thrown this one. William Blackford. That's great when you take all those congratulations. Your hands can get sore. Because, man, they've got some 90 players down there all come over to slap his hands. And Kaput. Keeping them out of their substitutions that they like to make. Play action fake by Nagel. Lots of time. Wise a little bit more. the three-man run and he goes deep double coverage caught at the 45-yard line Fred Jones to the post. Watch the catch. Watch the collision. Yes, he holds on. Thank goodness for that padding. Cardinals of Louisville. I have no doubt it's also the most given up by the Bama team. And here is Anderson on the return for the goal. And he is out to the 19-yard line. He weeded them out early. And uh, do some struggling years and now a chance to have this kind of a game. The but then he comes into the season. Both wide receivers get hurt. One of his great receivers out in the backfield, Saran Stacy, gets hurt. And they have the starting left offensive tackle get hurt as well. And he overthrows and it is dropped by a defender. Third and ten. And Hollingsworth is sacked by Mike Flory as painting a defensive masterpiece. Here's pressure and it's blocked. Touchdown, Louisville. <laughs> Ray Buchanan, we had mentioned earlier, one of the big men and big play people. And he's not the one that came up with the block. Let's see if we can get a chance to see it. The man that blocked it there, I believe, was number 28. And that would be Rene Kutu. And Louisville goes for two. Green pass, right flat. And Dawkins does not go in. And the score remains Louisville 25. Alabama nothing. Ralph Wilmsmeyer will be kicking off. And it is taken by Cole at the 18-yard line. And as he returns, the first quarter comes to a close. In the first quarter, Browning Nagel, the Louisville quarterback, 9 of 16. He threw for 223 yards, two touchdowns, and an interception. Louisville leading 25 to nothing. That is a Fiesta Bowl scoring record. Here is the pitch and the counter by Anderson. And 
and he will go to about the 39 yard line. <laughs> that ain't gonna happen. Check it down. He figures he's gonna play about 30, 40 plays. Allegra's pass is complete to Lamont oh, Russell. Well, oh, he has some amazing discipline, let me tell you. <laughs> U.S. West Sunkiss Fiesta Bowl kickoff luncheon. 3,000 people joining in. And here is Derek Lassick. And a not so happy look on Gene Stallings' face. Russell, the intended receiver, because it certainly played well for Alabama this year. Joey Smith. The return man, he takes it back at the five-yard line. Makes a couple of nice in-and-out moves. On the defense, they have a five-yard face mask. The first down. Some kiss the Estebo. Jeff Brom is now the quarterback for Louisville. Now, he always comes into the second quarter for a couple of series. And he gets to Curtis Lipsy. Think that your husband could turn it around when he took the job at Louisville. A lot of people said that it was a no-win situation. No doubt about it. He's turned it around before. He can turn it around again and again and again. You know, I've seen all those boys on the St. Louis Cardinals and some of the other Cardinals that I've seen. That's the first one I've seen with Pete. And here's B. Bynum. Well, I got the hot, hot hand. Let me keep going. Let me keep rolling seven. And he's brought down for a line. Now a third and long. And again, the Cardinals going very quickly without the huddle, forcing Alabama to go without their normal substitution. And he throws, and it is intercepted. Antonio Langham with the interception. And Alabama with the ball just outside the 42-yard line of Lowell. Good system, isn't it? Third down and nine. Incomplete. Field goal attempt from the 36, an attempt of 46 yards. Now, Doyle, the consistent All-America kicker, has hit this year from 47 in his career. He has hit from, from 53, and they expect him to make these. And does he? No, he misses. From 46 yards away. Class Preser recruited by the major schools across the country, and he is here as the future of Louisville. Here is Dawkins on the pitch. And Dawkins continues to do what his coach told us. He said, have that physique around 5'9", 207. There's a fellow in Detroit by the name of Sanders who has a similar physique. And here is the reverse, and Alabama is there. And this is the reverse to his brother, Greg Rom. Taken up and we'll have an injury report on him in just a moment. And his brother, the quarterback, and he is throwing this one away to avoid the loss. See, the, you know, the problem that we're having is uh, there are some uh, communication problems on the, uh, with the, with the coverages on the defenses that we're playing. And Charles Carter is going to go the distance here with an interception. We're sorry about that, Tom Hammond. But a bad throw by Brown. Interception there. He goes all the way. Charles Gardner threw it right to him. And the extra point attempt is good by Philip Doyle. And Lloyd will now lead 25 to 7. Charles Gardner with a touchdown. His birthday is November the 9th. Same as mine. Alabama 7 is Philip Doyle will be kicking off for the Crimson Tide. Joey Smith from the six-yard line, the return man for Louisville. He is to the 20, and Richard is to the 21-yard line. And Nagel is looking right into the sun. Brings it to that right side, passes complete to Lipsy. 
Complete. 10 of 17, 237. Two touchdowns and an interception. And he has a first down here. And a fumble on the exchange. Nagel. Was it Nagel that picked it up? Somebody got a hold of it. Dawkins is eight of two, second down and eight. Nagel, a little play action fake. And his intended receiver slips down. That's Fred Jones. Fair Bryant. They faced each other in the red-white game, a lot like this one, except it was spring football at Alabama. Nagel is going to keep, and he goes to the 45. And Louisville is going for it at fourth and one. Remember the last time they went for it, Charlie? They got stuck. First down. Success of this game. First down at the 47-yard line. Play action. They go rolling, rolling to his right. Throws downfield. Pass is complete to McKay. And it's the first down at the right. He's an extremely bright young man. He really is. Bingo! Pass for his side to AC Cummings has it. And he is out at the 16-yard line. He's thrown for 275 yards. Two touchdowns and an interception. And you saw the road And here's a three to the right with Dawkins. And he'll go down at around the 10-yard line. Second and four. And let's see get the ball here, and he will go to the six-yard line. And he is doing it in this And here is the reverse to Fred Jones. And he'll battle his way back to the six-yard line. Oh. That defense really came together. Second and go. Oh. One-yard line is Curtis Lipsey. And playing with that great team gets cut from the Raiders. He doesn't need to be happy to hear. Over the top, and Lipsey is rushed. Klaus Wilmsmeyer with a 19-yard field goal attempt. Looks to me it's going to be 20 if he places it at the tip. And it is blocked. Antonio London, number 55, was in to make the block. Louisville leading 25 to 7. Collingsworth is dropped at the 18. He'll lose. I like to read about young people being interested in history understanding what got them to where they're at. From the shotgun, knocked down. Third and 11. Kevin Turner for a couple of yards. There's pressure again. It is short, but takes it at the 48. And is down at the 48-yard line. Nago has completed 12 of 20. He has thrown for 200. And 75 yards. And now the straight shot up the middle. Here's Pete Bynum. And the ball pops loose, and Alabama has it. Lorenzo Manny Ward. Turnover is 4 to 2. Alabama from their own 39 yard line. First down. Just over a minute to go. Here's the middle screen to Turner. And the offense of Alabama from the shotgun. Collingsworth swings it out to the right side. This is Turner. And Turner down the sideline. First down at the Louisville 43. 33 seconds left to go in the first half. Little swing right side. And it's Martin Houston on the receiving end. Kevin Lee comes wide to the near side, and he is the speedster. A freshman who won all kind of high school track awards. Nice. The pass goes to the other side. It was Donnie Finkley on the receiving end. Now he goes downfield and is incomplete as he overthrows Lorenzo Go. And again, the speech for Kevin Lee wide to this side. They hand off inside. Okay. Mark Schnellenberg, with regards to a national title, is that it is going to come through Louisville. The only variable is time. Collinsworth throws, passes, incomplete, stops the clock, and a 49-yard field goal attempt by Philip Doyle. And 
he is now 0 for 2. Doyle missing from 46 and now from 49 as the first half comes to a close with the score of the Louisville Cardinals 25. The Alabama Crimson Tide 7 and this is the 20th edition of the Sunkiss Fiesta Bowl. And Ron Bell will be kicking off as we he looks like a linebacker. Start he is a linebacker. And yeah. watch him. He'll go down and he'll make the tackle, too. <laughs> and here's Lorenzo Cole on the return to the 24-yard line. But as we documented the first half, you know, he lost his key running back, two great receivers, and an offensive lineman. That makes it tough for a quarterback. He adds off to Junior Sewell, and there's the comparison of 89 to 90. their number exists in the way they flash the numbers in. Dan Gangler. Go to your fullback in the middle. I don't understand that. Joey Smith. Joey Smith at the 30-yard line. 35. That's about 11 yards on the return. Little first opportunity in the second half. Nagel scrambles and throws. The pass is complete to A.C., but he was past the line of scrimmage. If it would stand, it'd be 59 yards, and he is going to lose that argument. He was past the line of scrimmage. The side judge did an excellent job. Of course, the argument on that point would be that they would say that it's where he threw it and not where he ended up, but he's got a point. 30, 50, 50 to the 50, the 45, the 40-yard line. And here's Lipsy, and the flag is down. Well, on the offense, in your penalty, first down. First and 20 at the 50-yard line. Hold him out, hold him out, hold him out, hold him out. Nagel, only a three-man rush by Alabama, has to dump it off to Duncan. And he fires on target to McKay, and McKay to the 15-yard line. Sounds to me like a psychologist in a position. I think you're very bright. Yes, he is. Here's Dawkins, and Dawkins is taken out at the 9-yard line. It is first and 15 at the 20-yard line. And we have some jumping by an Alabama lineman, but no flag. We got him. And here is where. Nagel, a pump fake, goes to the end zone to AC. And Cummings has his second touchdown of the ball game. 19 yards. And the extra point attempt. By Bell. 32-7 Louisville. And here's Lorenzo Cole. And he returns to the 25-yard line. Alabama first down at their own 25-yard line. Hollingsworth pass is complete to Steve Buskey. And a wearing, of course, the number 91 for the new year. And the pass, they're going to call pass interference. I'm going to question it. We have pass interference <laughs> on the defense. That's a spot foul. First down. To the line of scrimmage, it's a spot of the foul first down. Outside of 15 yards, it's a 15 yard penalty on the first down. And straight at the middle is Kevin Turner. Second down and four. That, of course, would be a school record. Here is Turner up the middle. And he's brought down at the Louisville 48-yard line. 41 yards rushing in five carries. Averaging 4.1 per carry during the season. Pump fake. And the pass is incomplete. Half of the time. Very royal colors. Second down. Is incomplete. Third down and ten. 
Nebraska had this problem last year with Florida State. The flag is down. The pass is complete to Lassick. He's going to end up losing a yard or so. We have holding on the offense. Ten-yard penalty. Still be third down. Louisville is playing as well as the national championship team could expect to play in a major bowl game. Hollingsworth goes deep. His receiver falls down and he's overthrown. Thanks, Williamson. And Joey Smith is the returner. He nails this one back to the 11. Good coverage for Alabama. And Louisville will have the ball at their own 15 yard line. Louisville 32, Alabama 7. 8 14. Time remaining in the third. This is Charlie Jones, Scott Christensen, Tom Hammond, Gail Gardner also here for our coverage. As Ware jumps to the outside. Then brought down at the 22 yard line. Have to get back to play here. We'll come back and talk about that in a moment because again, Louisville is going without the huddle. Where to the right side is they're trying to keep the oh, Alabama oh, defensive oh, secondary oh, from changing off. And you're right, they have played that here. Well, you, you got a shot there of Howard Schnellenberger, Charlie, and we heard him there in the locker room say there's no way they could know how it means so much more to us than it does to them. The pass is complete at the 35. It'll be a first down. Sometime in the spring, you know, I, I have, you know, I, I still be in school, and you know, I have more time to think. And Nagel goes deep, and it is incomplete. As we come back, Bynum is stopped at around the 37-yard line. Third down and eight. Pressure from the outside. Going deep to AC. Can't get there. Kicking into the wind. And this season he has averaged 43 yards a punt, which is an excellent average. Anderson with the fair catch bobbles it and then he recovers it. Alabama from their own 17 yard line and they have a change at quarterback and he is sacked. And he wins it now the quarterback. And we're back at the eight yard line. And it is second and 19. And he steps forward, avoids the sack. He's to the 10, the 15, cuts inside, brought down at the 21-yard line. A third down and six. Pressure to the backside, steps forward, throws on target. First down to Derek Lassick. Blackford with the tackle. Here comes a full blitz and the handoff inside to Kevin Turner. And Turner takes the group with him. No, I guarantee that. Unless it was a sway back. They stayed in the bar. <laughs> Whipson scrambles around the corner and then Alabama to the 50 yard line. Back cheerleading again for Loyola. Please, no waves. There's Richard, he is stuck. The ball pops loose, it is a fumble. Woodson has put some spark into the offense of Alabama. Moving on the two-minute mark, time remaining in the third. Over the middle, and it is completed to 43 of Louisville to Derek Lassen. And the pass is incomplete. Louisville is expecting the pass. They rush three. Woodson steps forward. He's got the first down inside the 30. A great move at the 30-yard line. He goes to the 13. At the 13, first down. The 8-yard line. Here is Anderson. He's been pretty well shut down today. Into the third quarter. We'll be back after these messages from your local station. We start the fourth quarter. Alabama trails 32 to 7. And they have a third down just outside the 10 of Louisville. Incomplete in the end zone. Now the tide has to throw the ball. And races for the corner. He will go to the four yard line, which is going to be close to the first down. And there is the mark and the measurement. And Louisville takes over on down. 
in a game that could well go down in the history of this gray ball as one of its biggest upsets. Nagel going deep. It is there complete to Fred Jones, and he is caught at the 29-yard line of Alabama. It's a career high. Like I said, I, I keep reiterating the same point, but there's no way he could have dreamed of it being this good. Get out, get out, let's break. And breaking inside Ball carrier is, is Curtis Lipsy and Stacey Harris. Louisville offensive machine operating on all cylinders. Nagel. Oh, he's a strong kid, too. They just don't bring him down. Last year by Peter Tom Willis of Florida State. Well, in the meantime, George Thornton has had back-to-back -back tackles. We have all sides on the defense, a five-yard penalty. Second down. Thought he is in Saudi Arabia. They go. Throws complete at the five-yard line to Curtis, to uh, Ken McKay. Whistle sound. We have a dead ball, ball start on the offense, five yard penalty. Bert Rubin. Ed Rubin. 1984 against Murray State. Oh, this lip is limping about three plays back. He could have a tough time getting out. I think he wants the touchdown. And how he does there, of course, will have a lot to do with it. Over the top and brought back as. Dawkins went up and Sellers was there to stop it. I just think it's the kids from Louisville and they just want to score as much as they can against whoever they're playing. And Alabama stops him. Lipsy. O.J. who? Lipstone. Oh, yeah. He's at the Orange Bowl. Yes, he is. Now Woodson will go to work. He was almost caught for a safety, and Tom Hammond will be giving us a report on that situation. And this pass is incomplete. It'll be third down. And now they're going to call well, it down the ground. And it will be a safety because it is a test of the spot of the foul, and Woodson is still down. Now he gets up. And here is the putt following the safety. At the 40-yard line is Joey Smith to the 50, to the 40, to the 35-yard line of Alabama. And Browning Nagel, lipping and all, remains in the ball game. The ball at the Alabama 35-yard line, a little play action play. And he overthrows Ken McKay. Let's you preserve yourself for the future, but then again, moments like this don't happen all the time. You want to milk them, Ben. Enjoy it in the now. Number one, Colorado. And number five, Notre Dame for the national championship. complete over the middle to Pete Bynum. Bob Costas is also down there with his crew, and they'll be covering not only the Federal Express Orange Bowl, but their own 34-yard line. Woodson rolls out to his right, points downfield, steps away, and he's going to be brought down at the 32-yard line. Woodson stumbles as he comes back, and he, he'll overthrow everybody. And Buchanan recovered it in the end zone for the touchdown. That made it 25 to nothing. And this one is intercepted. Here is Hawthorne on the return. At the 35-yard line, Lorenzo Cole with the down. That's a pretty good field position. Eric Watts is now the quarterback. His first appearance in the ballgame. We had a... We visited with him a couple of times during the week, and it's really a pleasure. Well, I wouldn't say this is the culmination of anything. Obviously, it's more of a beginning on another level. You know, uh, six and a half minutes to go in the ball game. Third down and six at the 31. And it's knocked away. And 
to Athanasius. Fourth down, this is thrown up and incomplete. So stay tuned for the national championship in the Orange Offensive Bowl, Colorado and Notre Dame, right after these messages from your local station with the score, Louisville 34, Alabama 7. Happy New Year, everybody, and on to the Orange Bowl.